Wow, wow, wow. Ship ahoy. It's been a while. Yeah, I just forgotten to film. I I do things on the boat and then it goes days when I realise, oh, I could have filmed that. So recently there's been strong boat life content that has been missed. There's been two things that I've done on the boat that has been quite something. One of them was I did this window a while back. You, you can see that there's like a one-sided situation going on so people can't see in, but I can see out, as you can tell. A little building there. Didn't do the top because it brings in a little bit more light. I might do it. I have um, enough tape to do the rest. But anyway, the other day I did this other side as well. This perfectly made section is perfect. I will not have it any other way. I also had to do <laughs> I calculate it's completely wrong so I have to tape on another section. The other thing that uh, happened was that my water pump, my water waste pump that pumps the wastewater into the canal, which is a fucking weird situation but apparently it's legal. I mean it's not like toilet waste it's just like shower and um, sink so obviously you need to use nice products. That one broke. It has broken before. I just pretty much just touched it and it started operating again. Then two days ago it stopped working again and the way that I can tell that it stops working is that the water comes up the shower. I took out everything that I have in that cupboard and took out all the water. Absolute nightmare. So much water and I don't have I don't have like one of those water pumps that can pump water from one container to another which would have been very useful. So I had to use an old bottle and uh, and then use a sponge. So I did that once and it worked for a minute. Then it stopped working. I emptied it. I put it back in. It worked. Then it stopped working. Then I was like, you know what? I'm going to take everything out. I'm going to clean it up because it was an absolutely disgusting little nasty mess in there, in that container or the pump in itself. Um, cleaned it up pretty much spotless, not spotless because it was rank. I took out any kind of culprit that could have made the pump not work and put it back in, put everything back on. No, did I try? I'm not even sure if I... No, no, I didn't try. This is where... Rookie mistake, I suppose. But there was nothing that could have been wrong with it because I had cleaned everything out. There was, there was, there was no reason for it not to work. So I put everything back in the cupboard and then it didn't work. And then suddenly it worked again and it was incredible. Anyway, fantastic. Day went on and it now doesn't work again. So I'm going to have to go in there and figure out that. Ugh, disgusting. Anyway, that's my update. Uh, Bye, life. All right, operation gets everything out. Here we are. That's the box. It's time to put the gloves on. Also, that's oil and diesel and shit, not actual shit although at this point who the fuck knows okay okay so it just pumped out what was in the box so what i did well, i took it out looked at it stroked it a little bit maybe it just needed some reinsurance you know we all do and then when i put it back in it pumped out the contents right here we go this is how it looks so that box was completely full obviously and now there's still some water in it um i don't know what to do to be honest i really don't want to get a new pump because then i have to rewire all this shit all the hoses and the electrics and like i think it's not going to be too difficult but just effort you know a hassle can you just not work like it works like it's not like it's not working it pumps but just on a random there's no logic to when it pumps and when it doesn't pump. Yesterday, it just suddenly, I wasn't using water, I hadn't been using water for hours, and suddenly I just hear it go. And usually it it normally only goes, you know, it, it, it starts when this gets full, right? And that doesn't go that slowly. It takes a fucking minute for it to go down. So that was bizarre. Anyway. Okay, for the purpose of this video, and obviously for the, for the convenience of my lifestyle, I'm going to test with a bottle of water. Whilst on camera. Right, let's pop this open. Ooh la la. Okay. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Oh my god, that was the sound. That was the sound of angels. Call it angels, you know? Non Christian angels. No non religious angels. Fuck me, that was good. Oh my god. Let's just that I don't trust it. I don't trust it because that happened last time as well. We're gonna give it a few days. And if it doesn't get back on track, we'll have to get a new one. Also, on a completely different um, topic, I, I've i not been able to charge my stuff for a while. I had my boat spinning for three hours yesterday trying to charge some stuff up. Uh, but I just feel like a nuisance. Nuisance? You know, being very loud. It's not that loud, but it's just annoying, right? And it's annoying for me too. So I would rather not have to run my engine and charge stuff. At the moment, I think I have about... 15 um watt coming in from the solar panels which is not a lot at all i was up on 13.10 or something when my fridge is not running so I i'm just risking it now and charging let me show you a few devices um but the problem has been that i only have this this guy, which is obviously originally for my laptop, which has the USB-C or whatever it's called, uh, but it's double-ended, you know, it's not um, USB regular, whatever, that, you know, these kind of USBs, I don't know, electrics. Anyway, so I, only, I could only charge one, I could either charge this guy, this guy, or my laptop. Um, so I had to really think cleverly about what was more important. And I kid you not, I actually took a while for me to realise that my speaker is not <laughs> an essential. But honestly, I got this for Christmas and it's the best thing I've ever been had. It's on 24-7 on radio, most likely. Oh, rep, rep, rep. And I'm going to go to Andrea. Hey, till Andrea, I used to listen to listen to listen to But then now I was just cleaning up and I found another wire and I found so I found a USB something to USB something else. So now he gets to he gets to charge up. Although my laptop probably could use it as well, but you know, again, we have priorities and it is and that caught him i also i also got this for christmas this is inside temperature this is outside i think it's about it should it should be less than 60 percent humidity inside because otherwise the mold will grow so as you can tell the mold is thriving in here it's also pretty cold 12 degrees inside is not too bad actually but 10 it was seven this morning that was a bit much so i'm gonna put the fire on it is the next morning I have good news and bad news. Good news is that I didn't drain my batteries yesterday by charging all my stuff. I'm currently charging them again, all of it. It's not as much solar coming in, so again, there's another risk, but I'm not, you know, I'm not dappling down under 1250, so I should be fine. It's according to, I think I mentioned this before, but I think it's 1220 volt. You should definitely not go under too often. So I'm far over that. It should be fine. So negative is when I went out yesterday, I left the water pump on so that it could. I'm not sure what the, the, the last thing I said was, but essentially it didn't work again. It came up the shower. Uh, so that's fantastic. Anyway, so I left it on thinking it might just drain by the time I'm home. Didn't. But in the night, twice in the night, in the middle of the night, it just, because uh, I left it on as well, in case, in case, and it uh, pumped it out. So that's what I don't get, you know? Why does it work on, like, weird impulses? It should only work when, you know, the second it's being overfilled, but it's not being overfilled in the middle of the night when nobody's using any water. So I don't get it. So I'm going to do a last attempt today. Take every fucking item out of that cupboard maybe we'll just leave it out forever at this point and clean up the actual pump the inside of the pump because i don't think i did that too well last time that's going to be today's job that wasn't supposed to be today's job this is the thing right i have other things to do but boat comes first because if i can't wash my hands or shower i can't do anything can i and, you know i have another sink so it's not like the end of you know and that sink just goes directly out the canal 
I don't make these rules. Anyway, well, I'll report back. <laughs> all right, all right. No, that is not dirty water. I can not promise you that. Look at that. That is clean. I mean, I don't think I can get it much cleaner. And I found an old toothbrush that my friend Katya left behind. Um, sorry, Katya, I will throw it now so you don't mistakenly use it. That would be very fun. Very useful to get into here. I mean, this is what I'm saying. This was black. I mean, you can tell already. I'm sorry if you don't want to look at this shit. Some of this is not going. I and mean, some of it I'm just not bothered about. Uh, but like that opening mechanism, I, I think it's maybe something to do with that one. Anyway, I'm going to put it back in now and hope for the best. All right. Now the question is, obviously the second I press this button here, it should make sound straight away. So let's press it and run. Okay, nothing. All right. I'll waste some more water. Come on. No, it's coming up the shower. Why? Okay, we'll leave it and suddenly it will just kick off, I'm sure. For fuck's sake. Oh, this is a problem for a different day. Also, obviously when I say this is a problem for a different day, it really isn't. It's quite, it's not urgent, but it's decently urgent, I would say. But, you know, sometimes defeat just comes to you. In the moment. I'm going to give up now. And I'm going to think about it later. It's just done it. It's done it. We're talking five minutes. So the question then is, is it just getting old and tired and don't want to do, you know, what it's told? Maybe that's the opposite. Maybe it's like a kid. That's bizarre. Very frustrating that I can't count on it, but I'm not sure. A new one is, because you have to get the whole box. Well, I haven't researched that much but if you want to get the exact same model it's 150 pounds some boaters friends told me um they recommended the the whale gulper which apparently a lot of boaters are happy with it's a different one but that means i need a new box because what i could do is get the whole box get the whole thing i mean but then only install only take out the actual pump because that one doesn't connect um, to the box it doesn't you know it's an independent little thing so that could be an idea but still it'll be 150 pounds and I might as well just do the whole thing but if I do the whole thing I have to do the whole thing let me show you actually I did show you obviously earlier but you know disconnecting three of these hoses and then all the electrics but yeah as you can see it's there's it's not full anymore and there's nothing in the shower um so that's that I think this video is at an end if i do decide to get a new one that will probably be another video as for now i'm going to see it as a small win it's not completely broken and now obviously it was only five minutes later than it should have done it it did it so it just means showering will be very slow <laughs> and cold <laughs> but that's that's boat life you know and i'm here for it i'm here for the ups very many ups and the, the few downs uh fire is on there you go. So all is well, really. You know, it's not in, in my town in Norway. It's minus 22 degrees and two meters of snow at the moment. So, you know, I can't really complain, can I? Anyway, let's say that that's that. And um, ship ahoy. And ship ahoy. Just ship ahoy. All right. It's been a few days and I am finishing editing the video and I just it just looked like such a happy ending and I just did not want it to have a positive end. So it's not working. It's been over a day and it's not pumped anything out on its own little accord or impulse. And it's full of water at the moment. Sorry, that's an old fire alarm. I don't know where to throw away. Yeah, so it's full of water now in the sink because uh, I had to have a shower or a try. I wanted to. Anyway, that's a whole lot of story. Anyway, there's, there's so much water in the shower, in the box and in the sink at the moment. And I, it's a project for later today. It doesn't even work when I twist the, um, the thing that's supposed to, the, call it the trigger, you know, even when I do that, which normally it would. So I, I see no other solution than to get a new pump. Even, 
Right, that's the end. So on this negative note, whee, ship ahoy!